Hello YouTubers, I hope you can see with the sun in our eyes. Uh, I'm just riding back from the Hara Harbor. I did a video about, I hope there was enough footage to make actual video and upload it. But um, I noticed there's another thing near here that I might uh, want to see. So, that's where I will head now. I will try to find it. I actually never knew that there was a waterfall near here. I mean, it can't be very big because uh, uh, otherwise I would have heard of it a long time ago, but uh, it's still interesting. A waterfall near here so yeah we don't have that many waterfalls in Estonia because we don't have mountains we have hills at best and uh, I thought I will go see it and of course you can come along as long as I already have the cameras and everything with me so let's go The road turned away from the sun for a bit and it's such a relief because riding in between trees with the sun in your face is the worst thing. You can't see almost anything because the eye is constantly trying to readjust to the light, to the dark, to the light, to the dark. But, uh, Facing slightly away from the sun makes it so much better. And of course, here's the sun again. In these moments you actually kind of understand the benefit of these uh, uh, dirt bike helmets with the beaks. It's uh, probably so much easier to see uh, when riding against the sun when you have a beak. The problem with uh, getting back on these kind of wider roads uh, after those nice little twisty roads is that everything seems just so slow and you just want to speed up a little bit and then before you know it you are speeding so yeah needs a little extra care even though the road is easier turn right here where 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 oh that trail okay let's try it at least it's going towards the sea so fingers crossed toes crossed tongues twisted that it's going to the right place Not the most comfortable road again. Can you imagine the times when cars were invented and the majority of the roads were like this? And when the rains came, oh, you were stuck. That's just it. Nothing else. Private property. Somehow I think I didn't want to go. 
onto a private property. So let me consult the map. So I found the path that should take me to where I need to go, but hmm. well, people have walked here before, it seems. It's definitely a path, but it doesn't seem that he fell down yesterday. sign here indicating that this is a come on show us come on there the sign says that this is a hiking path It should be public. Well, experts, who can tell me? Is this a wolf's print? It looks a bit too big for dogs. And here it is. Well, can't say there's much of water falling right now. I stand corrected. There is some water falling enough to make a sound. Legends say, as the information tablet said, I, I just didn't go asking legends from local people here. <clears throat> legends say that this used to be the Devil's Bar. Inside the cave there was a chalice where you put money on it, the money vanishes immediately and the chalice is full of vodka. Now, whoever takes a sip of that vodka is forever hooked. And this is why the local people started going broke, because they couldn't stop drinking anymore. Until a knight came and stole the chalice and took it onto a holy ground thus breaking the spell and freeing people from the addiction. But the holy ground turned into a swamp because the chalice was taken there. So this was it, the unamazing water, well not falls, drips, water drips, yes. And uh, a totally believable uh, theory of uh, local history, both economic and geological. So this is it. Thanks for watching and until next time.